Good morning. It's coffee talk. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Whoever you are watching this, I see you. I see you. I see you. And I'm really glad that you're here. If you're enjoying these pondering videos, hit the subscribe button so that you know when they come out. Um, pass it on to your friends if you're getting some some value from these little ponderings or these little journal uh, excerpts and and uh, prompts that you're getting. So please send it around. Um, remember when I light a candle and then you light a candle, then they light a candle. It just spreads light all over, and um, it could be a real gift to turn someone on to something that's serving you, whether it's this or something else that you're doing. Um, so please you know, consider that. Okay. So yesterday's video, I talked about what I really wish I could say to potential students, what I really wish I could say, but I don't. And it was 10 things that come up that I really wish that I could um, say. Sometimes I say them, but it really does depend. So check that out. And then today I wanted to share with you what does yoga do for me? Like, what is it that brings me to the mat over and over and over for this long? Um, pretty much every single day. I mean, I, I honestly can say that I live yoga. I'm not like doing a practice. It's just part of me all the time. I'm, of course, I'm, you know, hitting the mat and moving my body and, and doing all that. But um, the path of yoga is so much more than just the physical movements. Um, although that is what brought me to yoga was uh, being physical and losing the baby weight of having my twins and reconnecting to my body and all that. Um, but then I, I realized there's so much more, so, so, so much more. So um, I'm going to sort of do a little bit on my journal here and read to you, but um, not all of it, but uh, just to give us a conversation sort of starter, and then we can jump off into that. Okay. So my prompt this morning was, what does yoga do for me? It provides me with a path. It reminds me that others have sat here in this exact spot, just like me. It allows me to have an open-handed reach, opening to spirit. It helps me remember who I truly am. I've always been athletic and into dance and movement. My body has always done what I've asked it to, what I wanted it to, when I wanted it to. Yoga, though, provides me an opportunity to get to know my body to see my body in real time, to feel my body in real life. My body has been through so much, so, so much, so much trauma, so much fear, so much anxiety and shame, so much violent pain, both real and imagined. Yoga provides me with a space to practice this, this forgiveness, this acceptance, this nurturance, and this at times, what feels like true, true self-love, right? I mean, just saying all that, I just want to give my body a high five, you know? Um, it's been through a lot and and your body's been through a lot too, right? It's been through a lot. And um, exercising, gym, running, uh, or Pilates, aerobics, all those are so wonderful. And I've enjoyed all of them playing softball and and all, all the things I've enjoyed. But yoga is not about the way you move. It's about the way you feel when you move. So it gives you that inner gaze to how does this feel? And it sometimes does not feel good, right? Sometimes it feels horrible, horrible and uncomfortable. And if you saw yesterday's videos, like that's what we we're like running from all the time that life is uncomfortable. Well, yeah, it is. It's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. We're uncomfortable half the time, right? Yin, yang, left, right, up, down, inside, outside. It's like both, right? We have both rain and sun. So it's not bad when we're uncomfortable and good when we're not uncomfortable. It's just the journey. And so yoga provides that. Yoga helps me remember I'm more than a body though. It helps me remember that I'm more than a, uh, than a body. I'm a body that is breathed. I'm a breath. I'm a life force. I'm a flow. I'm a wind. I'm a caught in a current. Yoga helps me regulate my emotions by learning how to practice regulating my breath. Inhale, I am here. I am safe. I am love. Exhale, I am now. I am enough. I am centered. 
Yoga helps me remember myself, all of myself, my physical body, right? It helps me remember my emotional body. It helps me see my mental body where the patterns and the loops and the trappings are held um, by walking the path of yoga, which is an eight limb path from my study. Again, yoga is movement is just one small aspect of yoga. By walking the entire path of yoga, I can learn about telling the truth to myself, which is part of yoga. I can learn about how to care for my skin and my teeth. I can start to regulate myself to line up with nature's energies. I can start to practice compassion with myself and with my with others. I can practice how I show up for challenges, how I freak out, how I relax down. I can see how I am made at peace every time I remember that I am the present. Yoga reminds me that I'm not alone. It reminds me that I have a community. I have tools whenever I need it. I am both here in this world, but I also know now that I have a community outside of this world. I have a connection now to spirit deeply. I have a connection to my ancestors, to my unresolved pain, my untapped potential. Yoga is a bestie. It's there for you all the time. It's holding you with love and compassion when you mess up. It's holding you with excitement and celebra celebration when you're uh, feeling proud. It's always there for you. And, um, and I can't imagine life without it, honestly. I cannot imagine life without it. I don't have to recreate the wheel. I don't have to read a bunch of self-help books, which I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I don't have to like chase it all the time, right? I have a path. And I'll, I'll finish the video by saying when I was in my 20s, um, a girlfriend and I went to a palmist, a palm reader, and uh, and uh, he was just a really beautiful man. He's, he seemed mystic and deep and and uh, really from uh, another plane. And he looked at my hand and he was just like this point. You, you dig and 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 you dig. Pick one and dig. And I was like, huh? But I have done that now. I picked yoga and I've been digging just on yoga. I'm not reaching out to a whole bunch of things. I've just, I've got my, my tools and I just want to learn and deepen and, and grow into that one hole, into that depth, because all roads lead to China, all roads lead to self. Right. And so what is your pick? Just dig, just dig. And by digging, I mean, get to the mat, all right. Get to the yoga mat. That is the first way uh, in my learning, in my knowledge of how to access yourself. You can't not um, no notice the body and still be spiritual, right? Because the pain affects our emotions, emotions affects our mentals, mentals affects emotions. It's all interweaving. You can't just separate one from the other. Like you can't feel anger and, and not joy. You Everything is all together, all together, all together. You have to be open or not open, right? You can be a little bit open, but you can't sort of guard out what comes in and what doesn't come in. If you're opening, you're seeing, you're telling the truth. Um, I hope this doesn't scare you. To me, it was more scary not knowing what was in there. It was more scary not looking. It was, it was like holding back a tidal wave of pain and suffering and unresolved issues inside of me that... Um, holding it back was, it was, it was exhausting. And then once I opened to it, like the monster under the bed is like, Oh, okay. Oh, and we're all the same. <laughs> How cool is that? Right. What is inside is outside. All right. I hope this is a benefit to you. Um, I am encouraging you to get on the mat. I'm saying all this to you because it's the beginning of the year. You know, this is the time it's the time in yoga, we have the koshas, physical body, emotional body, mental body, wisdom body, bliss body. These are all different layers of you, right? And they all correlate to the other one. They all affect the other one. You can't eat well and run and then be pissed off all the time and say, I'm happy, right? They all affect one another. And yoga for me is the best calibrating tool I know. It brings me back to remembering the truth of who I am, who I am really, 
And I would love to hold you if that's something that you're needing. If you want to develop a home practice and you want to have consistency and accountability with showing up on the yoga mat so that you can do this work too, you can do this inner gaze healing too, that I'd love to be holding space for you, okay? Either in my yoga retreat, which is coming up in two weeks, January 13th through the 15th, women only, but come and really dive into really making this something new for you that you're really going to dive into a big practice over the year. Or you can check out my yoga classes, drop-ins when you want to, or uh, the membership is only $20 a week and you get unlimited classes. So it's a great deal. Um, or you can work one-on-one. -on -one. We can do private sessions or uh, mindset coaching where I can help you sort of see where the stuck patterns are in your mental state. And I can hold space for you there in, in whatever way you want. Or my inner circle, my women's group, where we take the yoga practice, the, the non-movement part, and we really dive into it. How do I take care of my skin and my health? How do I build a bedtime and morning time routine? How is my digestion? I haven't thought about it. How do I breathe? How do I meditate? All that is in the inner circle. And and then the yoga classes um, come with that program, okay? I want to hold you. I want to help you in any way I can. If I can be of service to you, please reach out. Again, subscribe and uh, leave comments if you want, if there's anything you want in particular for me to ponder. And as always, I'm so, so, so grateful for this work. And it's because of you, I get to do it. So truly, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, deep bows. Much love. Namaste.